Along the highways in Zaporizhia, Ukrainian billboards say things like, put your Molotov cocktail here, with pictures of red arrows pointing to sensitive spots on Russian tanks. In recent weeks, strikes on the city have become more common, and in the Zaporizhia countryside, Russia controls 85 percent of the oblast's farmland after more than two months of war. These fields are about 30 kilometers from the front lines where the Russian military is stationed. Farmers here say they are littered with the remnants of missiles from attacks. Ukrainian farmers wear body armor, hoping the fields will stay safe enough to work, at least through the harvest over the next two months. Sometimes missiles hit fields. Other fields are impossible to reach because they're in the occupied territory. The war has made our job extreme. Ukraine and Russia together produce more than a quarter of the world's wheat, as well as other major food items like barley, sunflower seed oil and corn. The war in Ukraine has strained food supplies and increased prices across the globe. In the worst hit, poorest and most war-torn countries, like Yemen, Ethiopia, and Afghanistan. Many people could soon face starvation in part due to the war in Ukraine, according to the United Nations. Regional officials say Zaporizhia, one of Ukraine's top growing regions, usually produces 2.7 million tons of wheat, mostly for export. But this year expects only about 260,000 tons. Most of it will stay in Ukraine. Next year could be even scarcer, officials add, without cash from the current crop for fertilizers, gas, insecticides, and other farming needs. Farmers do not have enough capital right now to invest in future crops. They have grain, but they cannot sell it. How can they operate without money? Banks are giving limited loans, but we are under martial law. They are being cautious. The immediate problem for global food supplies is that attacks have shut down major ports and train lines in Ukraine. The remaining rail and road routes cannot carry enough food far enough. And farmers say as the war intensifies in eastern Ukraine, even supplies to feed Ukraine and its military could be at risk. We can't tell what will happen tomorrow. If Russian occupiers come here, they could take our lands. They could ruin the fields. It's a huge risk. It's high stakes, like playing Russian roulette. He says if Ukrainian farmers lose this game, the results could be catastrophic for global food needs and apocalyptic for Ukrainian farming communities. Heather Murdoch, VOA News, Zaporizhia, Ukraine.